So, let's ask um, probably the most important question uh, that you'll end up asking after a very long and exciting journey uh, in introducing conversational AI to your firm. And the question is, how do you measure success? How do you identify opportunities for improvement? How do you know where to go from here? Now that you have begun, you've implemented, you're live, you're learning, am I actually successful? Because uh, I will guarantee you, you will be asked, just like I am every time, what is the value that this conversational AI has brought? Uh, the indicators of success are typically actually well understood for conversational AI. And the reason is conversational AI is taking on a role that humans today fill, which is typically well understood and also has a number of metrics around it. So you can first and foremost start with just applying the metrics you would ask for any call center agent. What was your mean time to resolve? What was your first call resolution rate? How many times did you have to escalate to another human being? What is your abandon rate? All those metrics that you would typically think about for a customer contact center are very relevant for your conversational AI. So if we take those as granted, so you measure success by evaluating it as a customer service agent, and obviously in that metric I, I should mention a key one, customer satisfaction, then you should think about what are some of the AI specific measures that I should apply on top of my contact center success metrics. In the AI metrics, we think about did the AI do the right thing. This is one of the key metrics we try to think about. The right thing can be classified in a few different ways. I'll take a moment to explain that, but this is the most important thing. Did your conversation I do the right thing? One, if the person spoke about a topic that was in scope for the conversation AI, did it properly recognize it? So that's your intent recognition. Two, if it recognized it, did it properly take the right action? And that action may include solving it, or it may include escalating it. You may say, hey, in this particular scenario, always escalate. Even though you escalated, it was the right thing to do. If a person conveyed an intent, and it was not in my expected domain of knowledge, did my conversational AI do the right thing? To do the right thing there is what? Maybe try to first clarify, hey, did you mean something else that is in my domain? But no, what you're asking for is something I just don't know about. It will happen. Trust me, your customers are very creative and they will ask for things you never thought to train your conversational AI for. And then did your conversational AI gracefully handle that in escalating it to a human being and getting the help it needs? So you look at your call center metrics, you look at customer satisfaction, and then you apply some metrics around, did my conversational AI do the right thing? The outcome is honestly one metric we all look at. How many contacts did your conversational AI successfully handle and deliver a high customer experience on so that your human agents did not have to handle it? Enabling them to focus on higher value added tax and allowing your customers to be engaging you in an efficient manner without having to always rely on getting human contact. Those metrics should identify you how successful you've been, and then should quickly identify you, where are your opportunities for improvement? Are there specific use cases that are low in doing the right thing or have high customer abandon rates in the middle of the conversation, et cetera? And then you can start talking about, okay, how do I measure and drive a cadence around my success metrics to ensure I'm maintaining them and keep improving them over time? That should help you think about measuring your success with conversational AI.